everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodle Bug. So, um, it is Tuesday, and I know I was on here just on Friday letting you guys see um, lots of great things that we got in, and then did a little teaser real quick of what we got from PhotoPlay. Um, so we did get a couple orders in yesterday, um, since I showed you so much on Friday. We did get a few things in yesterday that I want to show you today, and then I've also finally got samples for you guys for the brand new hero art stuff that I showed you I think last week and then um, we've been getting so much new stuff in that I have been horrible with my vendor of the day clearing some room for new stuff because we've just been oh my gosh we've been checking it in and putting it out and checking it in and putting it out and I realized that I'm running out of room uh, because I have not been doing some sale items. So I do have some sale items for you today as well. So make sure you stay till the end to check out those deals. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to see what all is going on. Oh, it's much better. I think my camera, sometimes it gets all sticky on the other side and everything looks fuzzy. So, all right, what we got in. Today is the last day of February. February's coupon for the store was buy three adhesives, get a fourth one free. So that means we have been restocking, restocking, restocking our adhesives all month, all month long. So we just got in another order from Scrapbook Adhesives or 3L. Same, same company, um, two different kind of names that they go by. So what did we get from them? They sell the big, nice rolls of foam tape. Um, and they do two different sizes of foam tape, what I consider a regular size and then a thin size. So in the regular, we got back in the white, and we also got thin in, in the white as well. These, I think, are about 18 bucks a roll. This one's 21. Let's see what this one is. There's an 18. So with the, the regular, um, you're getting 54 feet for 18 bucks. But with the thinner stuff, so you can always double it, make it thicker. But if you don't like things too, too lumpy, this might be the better way for you go. You get 108 feet. So again, almost double the amount. And then when I flipped it over, what was it, 21? So for just a few bucks more. So this is a really nice bang for your buck on that. And then this one here is the regular in black. Um, and a lot of times I prefer to use a, a black uh, foam tape or foam dots over white. Um, I'm, you know, doing darker colors, kind of grungy, maybe distressed stuff. Um, and if it hangs out just a little bit, I don't want to see that bright white. So that's why black is so nice as well, too. So those are the rolls we got in. Then we also carry in smaller, um, smaller packaging as well. So this one here, these are thin ones. These are perfect for whenever you're doing like your 3D tag toppers. So like if I come over here and like these guys here, where you know you're gonna be layering stuff and you're doing lots of layers. I really like and prefer to do a thin pop dot. That way it doesn't get so crazy tall on your card, tag, whatever. I mean, it's a little more mailable then as well too. Then we got in just some regular size of the squares in black. These are the regular size, but small, oops, small white ones. Then we needed more mounting squares. So we've gotten in um, mounting squares that are repositionable in white and also permanent. And then adhesive dots. Now these are kind of a back by popular demand. These are the 3D dots, so they're not a thin one. These are kind of those thicker, um, hold your heavier items. And I can't get in there nicely to show you, and I really don't want to pull one out and mess up somebody's packaging here. I'm not even sure which way to pull this either, so I don't want to mess it up. Um, pull here, dispense, tear off. Thin foam squares, you got it, Miss Debbie. If I could just get one of these to start for you guys. Uh. Dang it. Anyway, these are, um, it, it's a much thicker little glue dot there. So like I said, they're going to hold your heavier duty or items as well, but they're not flat. So these are just a real nice thick craft dot. I'm going to pull my thin ones 
thin squares for Debbie and for Monica. Perfect. Got, I will put another thin square pulled off the shelf. Thanks, ladies. All right, so we did these guys here. Easy Runner Grands are back in stock. Yay, we ran out of those, and they had stock on them when I ordered, so I was really excited. Um, for a while, it's been really hard to keep stock with this company just because they've had some issues, but everything was in stock this time. Um, the Grand Strips are back in as well, too. Everyone loves this tape runner because it is so easy. You basically, you pop this up, you pop this guy in there, close it, so it's easy to refill. Um, I use an ATG gun. I love my ATG gun, but I know a lot of you um, don't love it. It's a little heavier, which is a little bit harder, and it's a little harder to get used to with the tape flow, but it does take some patience to wind that puppy. So this one is easy, easy peasy. And then um, other things that we got in, so just the regular smaller version and a tape runner. And then we also have the refills already in stock. We just weren't out of those. And this little guy is a petite one. You know, so if you're an avid crafter, this is not the glue I would sell to you by any means. But if you're getting just a little care package, maybe you've got a friend who um, isn't really crafty, but you know, they kind of maybe want to make some cards and you get them a little card kit for as a gift. This is a nice little glue to add in there because it's three bucks, okay? So it's, you know, super easy to add in there. It's not going to break your budget or anything like that. Um, it's also nice if you have grandkids that kind of want to come over and play. That way you can have a couple little tape runners in the drawer that, you know, you're not spending $8 just on an extra tape runner that may not get used all the time. And these do refill as well. All right, so there is our adhesive restock. We got in a small order from our distributor. It had some special orders in it. And I think those were already pulled over the weekend. So there's not much in this one because two of them were just bigger items. Somebody needed um, platforms for their big shots. But we did get more of the wildflower card kits in. These were sold out. Again, this is a collaboration of Simple Stories and My Mind's Eye. Beautiful cards. Um, this one says, you belong among the wildflowers, wishing you a beautiful birthday. Hello, thinking of you, dear friend. Celebrate. Thank you. You are my person. One, two, three. When I count my blessings, I count you twice. So really, really cute. Eight cards. This is the, the kits that everyone loves because you don't even have to cut them apart. They pop out. You can layer them easy peasy. And remember, you know, some of those sentiments, if they don't work, just, you know, put something else there. Back in stock is the Simple Stories. Um, their color vibe in green. And green, I believe, matches a couple of the new lines that just came in. And we were out of green when that order came in. So that's back in stock. The Wildflower Enamel Dots are back in stock. These are nice just to add a little extra oomph to your cards, too. And then we got back in stock. So this is another part of the order. We sold out of all of our doodle bug bags, um, doodle bug designs. Everybody always asks, are you the same thing? Nope, we're not. I think they started like maybe a year before we did. Um, did not even know about them when we first started. Um, and, you know, they're Doodlebug Designs. I'm Doodlebug Incorporated. So when we did our names, there, were, there wasn't a conflict. So I don't know. Everybody always asks me that. You got it, Miss Monica. I see that for the little enamel dots. I'm going to add that to your pile. So these are just a cute little canvas, but card bag. Okay. Oh, and Audrey says that is a great card kiss kit. She got it done at the retreat. So see, um, that is a little review for those. Thank you for your review, Audrey. We love um, when somebody who's actually used it can vouch for the product. I, I you know, usually, guys, I'm going to tell you, you know, if I love it or if I don't. And if I don't, it does not stay in the store. And these card kits are so, so good. So, all right. Anyway, nice little, it's got a nice card board. Um, structure to it. You saw me fold down the little flap. So now it has a nice little hard bottom in there. And how big is this? Okay, so I'm going to put a 12 by 12 paper kit in there. So you can see I've got lots of wiggle room. It's not in there tight. 
it's not sticking up too, too far. So if I go down the level, okay, so it's a pretty tall little tote. And my handles, how does it carry? Oop, sorry, I'm trying to do 12 things at once with my hands. How does it carry? Just fine. So my handles reach just fine over that 12 inch collection kit as well. So it's not like you're going to crush your paper as you're trying to carry. So these are great little totes. It's also got a little side handle on it as well on both sides. This comes in solid black. I, I haven't had any requests for solid black yet. Um, so I've never had that one in. If you would like solid black, I would love to order it for you though. But this one here is daisies. I've got two daisies in stock. Then the new rainbow stripe, so that's a new one. I've got two rainbows in stripe. And then we also did order in the dots, but those got spoken for before they even, uh, excuse me, before they even got here. So we have a dots one as well coming back in. So the little doodle bug totes are great. And then I showed you guys last week, I'm just gonna show you the kind of the collection kit real quick. The new lines that came in from PhotoPlay. So PhotoPlay, we've got this family fun night, all different kinds of fun things you would do with the family, playing games, all kinds of fun little verbiage in there. Then we've got the Brave. This is just a nice um, kind of all different lines of service. It's just more like a service pack or a hero pack, not necessarily one one line specific by any means. So this is a good one for military. It'd be really good if you've got um, cards you need to make for Father's Day, maybe for someone who has been in the military, Memorial Day, all those good things. And then we got two different campus lives. So a couple of the papers in there do repeat, but we've got campus life for boys and campus life for girls. So the different campus life here, and then there is an ephemera pack, and the ephemera pack matches both of them. Okay, so there's that there. Um, hey, I grab this because here are the samples finally that match Hero Art. So I'm gonna go way across the classroom because we now have samples to show. All right, so I'm gonna go back through these. I know we looked at them the other day, but we're gonna look at them again because now we actually have samples and it's so much easier to tell with samples. So this little card here was used with the Monarch and Milkweed bundle, which I'm gonna just kind of go over and show you right now. So it is a stamp and die combo. There's the stamp set. And then there is your die in there. So that one is using that one and they did kind of a little ink splat in the background. You've got just a little bit of random ink blending and then stamping in the same color with some little flowers that come in the set. Next one down, so this one uses a couple different stamps. First of all, this background one was done with the Bold Prince Cling Stamp, okay? So kind of just inking, you know, pink this way and yellow this way and letting them overlap to create that orange in the middle. So there's that one that was used. And then that butterfly that was used is part of the um, Beautiful Butterflies Bundle. So you're gonna get the butterfly stamps and dies in that one. The sentiment, enjoy every moment. Oh, I'm trying to figure out where that came from. I don't know. They must have gotten that from, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm like, they usually only use the ones that are on the board. That came out of this set right here which is called Morning Glories. Morning Glory Messages. I know there was another little word there. And so let's look at a card made with that. So here we go, here's Morning Glory Messages. So we've got a couple little clusters stamped in a corner. And this is kind of cool how we've got it stamped. They've got it stamped here again with a little hello friend and then just placed perfectly where it would overlap. And then they've got, can you see that? Yep, there you go. They've got a little piece of vellum in there too, just to give it a little bit of um, a color contrast, which is cool. Some enamel dots, and that card is done. Super cute little card. 
Um, and then this one up here uses, it's going to use that same one that we just looked at. Let me see which one it is. It's this one right here. That's the butterfly that I used and just colored it. So this one uses the Beautiful Butterflies Bundle. And then this really cool little background texture stamp set. And that is called background, well, I remember this from last time because I'm like, oh, yeah, imagine that. Background texture strips. That's what the stamp is called. So basically they did this one, one, two, three, four times. And then they came in with some of the different textures. So they've got this one stamped. Then they've got the um, musical notes stamped. And then just kind of the random verbiage stamped. The butterfly colored, always here for you, came out of that morning glory set again. And again, that little piece of vellum there. So the vellum must have been on, you know how I am. Um, whatever is on my table is kind of what I'm working with. So the designer probably had some vellum on her table because she's got vellum here. She's got vellum here. And she's got vellum underneath. Nope, that's just gray. Never mind. She doesn't have vellum on this one. But lots of vellum going on on these cards. So I do, I, it makes me feel good that someone else is probably just like I am whenever they are crafting whatever is on the desk gets used a lot. So I'm super excited to finally have these samples in to show you guys because even though these were great, it is so nice just to see them actually stamped and um, some samples with them. So, all right, next up, we're going to look at our sale items, okay? All right, so we are getting ready to restock the pet section and moving some stuff around because we're, we're moving the new Simple Story pet lines back and I need more room. So all of these papers are 60%, um, no, they're 60 cents, 60 cents because they're 40% off. That's where my six coming, is coming from. So if you have a Pekingese, I would love to sell you some paper. I've got two of those. If you have an Irish setter, would love to sell you some of that. Two of those. If you have a Jack Russell, I've got one piece of Jack Russell left. 40% off. The little French Bulldogs. Oh my God, I want, I am not a little dog person, but I love French Bulldogs. I do not know why. I think they are so stinking cute. And maybe it's just the, like the puppy videos that I see. So I would probably be one of those bad moms and I would only like it as a puppy. But, oh my gosh, they are such the cutest little turds. So, French Bulldog, two of those, 40% off. Dalmatian. There's the back. Bloodhound. And Bull Terrier. Okay? So, those are some little sale papers. You can find them also on our website under our items on sale. They should show up on there and they're also in the pets section too if you're shopping online so there's a little sale thing there but this is my vendor for the day for you guys um, and we're gonna look through these because there are some ones for upcoming holidays that I would snag right away so these are meant to go into a little magnetic um, countdown box you can use them just as a little home decor piece. You can also use these little bigger pieces. They would be stinking cute like on a wreath, um, in a shadow box, all kinds of fun things that you can do with these. Now, this is not really thick MDF. You can actually take a crocodile and punch through here and make a little hanging guy as well too. So there's lots of different ways that you can use these other than just the little container, the little countdown calendar they're intended to go in. If you want a countdown calendar, I can totally get you a countdown calendar though. But we are going to be um, switching this section up a little bit and so I am moving these guys out. Normally they are 1035 today for you guys in this video, they're four bucks each, okay? I mean, I just want, I want the room back, okay? Um, I've got big plans for that area, um, and I'm losing money on these, but I need to display new stuff, which is exciting. So, all right, so we've got the little March block, which is the leprechaun. So normally over $10, so the little leprechaun can be yours for four bucks. This is a fun little um, camping one here. Now, 
for four bucks, you could even put this on a scrapbook page. Yes, it's going to be make your page a little heavier, but it's not super thick. It is no thicker than what um, pop dots are. So you could even do it on a little scrapbook page. You could use them as templates as well, too, if you wanted to. But that would be really, really fun. If you have like a cabin, this would be cute as part of your cabin decor. So this is the June for four bucks. Here is February's. It's a cute little postage stamp with a heart. There's another June. Here is August. August is a really fun little uh, ice cream. And now if you do like daycare stuff, or if you have grandkids, neighbor kids, you try and find things for, this is actually a little paper kit that if you want to cover it with paper, picked out the same colors that I did. We have a paper kit for you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I've got it, Sarah. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. One down. That helps. That's clearing out the basket. That's perfect. But if you do like daycare stuff, you've got kids next door you like to give little goodie bags to or little treats to, these would just be fun and inexpensive craft items for them to keep them busy because you can cover these with paper or you can paint them as well too. May, I love May's. May is a little wheelbarrow. That's a really cute one. Get another little look at May there. So for four bucks, uh, here is another August with the ice cream. There's another May with the wheelbarrow. Here is the paper set. So Sarah, I don't know if you what you're planning to do with yours, but if you want to do the same paper set that I used, I do have a June paper set here that we used. Oh, this would be fun for a teacher for a teacher's door as a welcome back to school gift, end of the year gift. This is September's and it's the little schoolhouse. So again, just four bucks. And then I do have the little September paper kit as well. There's that one. Okay, basket number two. This one is a Happy New Year. Happy New Year is one that I struggle with home decor wise. So it would be kind of nice just to have a little bit of something. And again, you can always put little holes, hang it on a door, hang it on a wreath, anything like that. Little sit about. Paper set two for the tent. All right, Sarah, I'm going to add it to your pile. Thank you. Uh, this is a good one here. The little October is a little witch. She's so stinking cute. So you can pick up the witch for just four bucks. I've got one two, three witches, because I think I had just restocked her. Um, we had to restock her in October. All right, next one here, we've got, this is a fun little one, vacation block. This might be fun just if you have an office, you know, whenever you are out for vacation, you could put a little sign on your door, maybe a little countdown in your office as well. But vacation block countdown. So four bucks on that one. This would be great just for graduation decor. This is the graduation block. So it doesn't have a month. It's just a little add in one. But there's graduation. So four bucks for graduation. I've got one, two, three graduations. Because I think we restocked that one um, last time we ordered from the company. So we would have those. But... Since then, I've decided I'm going to switch the section around, so I just tend to do that. So, again, any of these that you saw, the wood is going to be just 4 bucks. They are normally um, over 10 so that is like a, like a little bit over 60% off on those. So, great, great deal on those to try and clear out that section just a little bit. And I know, short and sweet, friends, that is it for today. So, like I said, just a couple little orders, um, but still some good stuff, too. So, today we've just been spending a, spend a little time catching up. We worked on rewards cards today. So, if you have filled your card up, your six-box card, in the last uh, month, your reward is in the mailbox. So, that will be coming to you soon. So, you've got some free money coming from, from us, Leslie Major Cards, today. So, you can have fun shopping with those. Um... Yeah, I was trying to think if there was something else. 
but I think that might be it. So if you are one of the gals that likes to do my um, like surprise kits, I know I do have a designer for the next one. Super excited about that now that we're kind of caught up from the holidays and inventory and taxes. Yuck. Um, I've got a designer for the next kit. I've got the next kit ordered. So you'll be seeing some little teasers for that as well soon. So I've got that kind of in the works. Um, I think that's kind of it. So yeah, I did schedule some emails yesterday. So you're going to see an email go out soon about our secondhand scrap sale that is coming up in April. And since tomorrow is March, it's start time to start doing the marketing for that. And it's time for you guys as possible vendors or sellers in the sale to start thinking about gathering your stuff, getting your stuff bagged and tagged and ready to come in. So you're going to be seeing that email go out in the next few days as well, too. It'll have information as far as when is the sale, um, when can you drop things off, and if you want to drop things off in the sale, how do you tag your stuff? So all of that will be in there as well, too. So, all right, everybody. Well, until next time, I'm Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always check us out online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, and otherwise, just have a crafty evening, friends. Take care. Bye.